Hello everyone and welcome back to The Crooked Man. When we left off, we had found another key. We have John Keith's key. So we need to find John Keith's room. Not quite sure where John Keith's room is. Cindy Peterson. Yeah, there's loads of clues and there's like... Uh, there we are, John Keith. Oh, we got the key. Is this the key to his box that requires a passcode? Well, it says we've got John Keith's key. What? Times are changing, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, there's all these boxes everywhere and we need passcodes. One of these is locked with a six digit pin. Now whose room was that? That's Andrew Robinson's room. Looks like some sort of diary. I'm so happy I realized he had the same birthday. So, oh yeah, so we were looking for a guy, there's a guy called Michael. Guy called Michael made it into a scientific magazine. It's like some sort of diary. Indeed. Uh, uh. Now, is this the one that... Okay, now this is something to do with that sculpture we found. The one that looked like, um, the one that looked like, uh, uh, binary code. Now whose room, because but I, but I, I have seriously tried everything I can think of and I just can't, I can't work out how to get it. So it's Ray Twain passcode, I'm just gonna Google it. Because it's definitely, Jacqueline, oh, that was the previous one. Okay, let's look for a hint first of all. We'll see if I can just work it out again. Uh, so inside, it says, Sculpture made by Ray Twain. And now to find his room. Okay, so apparently, there's something on the shelves. Lots of books. Lots of books. Lots of books. Oh, hang on. I'm terrible. Oh, great. The text has gone again. Here we go. Right, binary. So I wrote this down. So. It's a four digit passcode. So the first one we've got is, what t is 1010. So let's say two, two. And then we've got five elevens. So what if it's two, so what's one, what's 10, what's 101, five, two, five. Let's say two, five, three, three, because we've got 10, so 101, I've got to separate this out four ways. This could be any number of things, to be fair. So 101, and no, because they all begin with one, so that's not right. Okay, so it's definitely, so it's 10, I'm guessing that's why they put the zeros in to make it easier. So 10, right, and then 101, 5, and we've then got two lots of 11 left. So 2533 five, two, five, three is going to be my guess here. So let's see if we're right. 2... Five, three, three. Code must be. Oh, God damn the text. I just reloaded. Okay, right. I've just gone back. I had to redo the code and I wrote it down wrong. Um, or at least I worked it out wrong. It's actually two, five, one, five. Hey! And the. Oh, God's sake. 
Contain the key to- I'm guessing that says reference room. Okay, we have a key to a reference room. A key to a reference room, and we've still got John Keith's key, which I don't know what that does yet. Ah! 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 I'm going to fall down the stairs. Ow. Oh, great, the text has gone again. Ow. Hey. Who was that? I'm, go I'm just going to try and read this. Who... Who you be? What are you doing in this school, you... A sh a shady? Shady punk? <laughs> sh shady punk. I'm just... Looking for uh, someone. You should. You should something out of the blue. Who are you? Give me something. I'm calling the police on you. I'm looking for a guy who I think was a, a student, maybe. I'm not. I'm not. Something, anything. You sure? As if you would say, you would say they, something. I can't, I can't read this anymore. I'm sorry. This is getting too difficult to read. Not from the school. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, you know what? Can I just reload? Can I? Let's just try loading back and seeing if we can go back to do that again. Ah! Is it going to have worked? No, okay. Well, something happened there. As far as I know, okay. Basically, this guy, because I've seen, I have seen other people play this. I think someone I think was here. I'm not a robot or anything. Robert, are you sure? Permit. I don't know what you're going to ask me. Not from the school, so I came here to bring back memory. Okay. It actually is a bit more readable this time. What's your name? No one actually knows I'm here, but. Uh, something, something, something. A shady guy. Pff. Little brat. I guess you haven't sold anything. I was just wondering. Smell something. Okay. How is this problem? He didn't apologize. He pisses me off. <laughs> okay, basically, right, I'm just going to do the save thing that I have to do whenever I have to have a problem with the text. Basically, that guy is called D. He's just going to be wandering around here, and I think he's the next person we've got to save from the crook. Man! Right. Talks about events. Okay, let's see. So we've got the reference. Oh, here we are. Unlock the reference room. They say that people despise those who think similarly to them, or who are in similar circumstances. But humans are curious in that they can hide any outward appearances of goodwill or hatred. Though they are two-faced deep down, they can make an idea seem unthinkable. You may despise someone like you, but you may, in your heart, have affection for them. The improbable is not impossible. How true. I never understood this philosophy stuff. When you just dislike people you don't like. Well, not necessarily. Is that it? I thought there might have been a key. Aha! Who's this handsome fellow? George Wythe, signer of Declaration of Independence. He's sometimes called the father of the feminine for kitchen pen and juice rooms. It's attached to the wall, but the screw is loose. Ah! Right. I'm going to do this, and then the text is going to go, so I apologize. Unscrewed the screw holding the portrait. Something. Something, something. I apologize about the text. 1647. So who was the philosophy teacher of this school? So 1647. That's when you're right, wasn't it like? Record of books checked in and out. No power, so it doesn't work. OK. 
Okay, so let's just do a bit of trial and error here. It's really starting to annoy me about the text, and I have I, I, I apologize for it, but I have tried everything I can think of to get it to work. And I just can't work out what needs to be done, and that is the postman. Okay, I'm back. Uh, it wasn't the postman, as it turns out. Somebody from St. John's Ambulance uh, doing some cold calling. Right, so... Uh, right, I was going through... So, one, one, six, four, seven. So, it's not this one. I'm just going to go through the rooms, because it's just easier. Nope, that's the birthday one. Lock with a six digit pin. It's not that. Okay, six digit pin. One, six, four, seven. Yay! I have no idea what. Contained the he key to the lecture hall. But no, as I was saying. Whoa! Jesus Christ! As I wasn't saying. What? You bastard. Why is it here? Back in the hotel, I thought. Gotta run. Oh, gee. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> right. As I was saying, I've tried everything with the text and it just doesn't work. Right, what am I supposed to do in this room? Do I still have my fruit? The times are changing. I don't care about that anymore. Do I still have, like, my fruit knife or anything? I have a crowbar. But I really don't have anything that I can use. What am I supposed to do? I mean, seriously, how am I... What, what am I supposed to do here? Because I can't run... Right, look around the room. God damn the fucking text. <sighs> that, right, there has to be a way. Right, let's look around. <sighs> oh, hang on. No, hang on. I think I know, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've still got the key. Lock the door! Um, which one was it? Was it John Keith's? Yes. I knew there was a re reason I had the key. <sighs> whatever. And whatever. And whatever. And whatever. Just shut up. Oh, will you shut up already? I wanna... <sighs> See, all of this stuff is really important and I'm missing it. And it's really starting to irritate me now because I can't do anything about the bloody text. I have to do this every time it goes, and I can't do it when it goes in the middle of a sentence. So, half time I'm missing really important stuff. But, so, I may, after this episode, if it's going to continue being this bad, I've tried literally everything I can think of to try and solve it. And to try and, to try and work out what the issue is, but I can't. I don't know what the problem is. There is just something that in this that is not right, the way that I've... The way that I've wrapped it, I've tried unwrapping it, rewrapping it, everything is just a problem. So, I may have to have a walkthrough on standby. No, we didn't get a lecture hall key. Yeah, we did. Oh, it's the reference key that we had before. So yeah, it's it's is quite irritating that there's, that there's a problem here with the text, but there's nothing I can do about it. I've tried and I have tried. So let's just carry on the best we can. And, as I said, I apologise that I'm going to have to skip a few bits, that I'm going to have to not be able to read some of the text, that I am going to have to um, have a walkthrough on standby, because otherwise I will miss important things. So if I hadn't, if I didn't, you know, have to do all the whole reloading thing, I would have missed that code that was behind the painting. Faculty room, that's the faculty room. No, it's the, so it's the lecture hall. Is where we need to go. Janitor's room. Infirmary. Where's the lecture hall? 
Oh, is it here? Is this the next level? Aha! Here we are then. Oh, more stairs. Locked. Painted over, won't open. Oh, it's you again. What's that noise? Oh, it's a... Friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming here today. Today is, for us, the best day of our lives. Because today, we leave the nest of our school and begin our climb to adulthood. I can't speak today. I apologize. For those who passed the bar exam, those who didn't, those becoming clerks or notaries or teachers, all of us will be graduating from this school. And we owe a great debt to it. Even though, if even, if, though even, I will start that sentence again, ladies and gentlemen. This is not my first time doing public speaking. It is my first time doing public speaking. I can't even say sentences I'm making up. Though even if they managed to graduate, some of us may need to put in a little more time into their studies. Thank you for laughing. But these graduates have one thing in common. They're filled with the hope for the future. They're ready to challenge what lies ahead. I sound like an American game show host. A toast to our dreams, to our yet unsure futures, and may we have God's grace. What a load of shit. D, yeah, so his name is D. D, how did you get into this lecture room? Wasn't the hallway locked? Eh, you forget I'm a graduate here. I know all the secret ways, dummy. <laughs> well, what were you listening to? A tape? Oh, there's something shining up there. My cursor's in the way. Yeah, from my graduation day. Man, has it really been three years? I was getting nostalgic for the place, and even abandoned it hasn't really changed. I guess it was just like when I was taking classes. I don't know what this guy's voice is doing yet. I haven't quite... It seems to be fluctuating all over the place. I haven't decided. Studying was wearing me out. So I came here for a breather. It's nice to have places full of memories like this. He seems like he's a bit of a punk, so I'll go with that. You graduated, but you're still studying? Hey, lay off. I couldn't pass the bar exam, so I'm cramming at home now. Next up's gonna be my sixth attempt. Perhaps you should give up. No, that's uh, never give up. Always do what you should feel like you should do, or whatever the saying is. There's gonna be lots of great guys in my class. Most of them passed in one shot. Being a lawyer's been my dream since I was a kid, so I felt happy when I got accepted here. Felt like I was one step closer to making it come true. The work was rough, and I barely managed to graduate. I think it's kind of helpful the professors that did it. I think it's my kind. It, I, I can't read that sentence. I think it's my kind, helpful professors that did it. They made me an offer that I couldn't refuse. I'll pass for next time. I'll pass. I really cannot speak today. I'll pass next time for sure. I mean, it's my sixth time anymore, and I'll be behind my classmates. Well, it's good you should be motivated, but it, it's good to be motivated, but it's dangerous here. You should get out of here soon. Huh? Dangerous? What? It's hard to explain. There's... It's sort of hard to explain. There's kind of a monster here. It'll attack you if it finds you. I thought you were just some weird old guy wandering around an abandoned school, but... Damn, you really are nuts, huh? Seriously? A monster? Even little girls don't believe in that stuff. You're being a tall doofus. Did you enjoy, do you enjoy making fun of people? I don't think I'm much older than you. <laughs> don't quarrel with me, alright? I'm a talented soon-to-be lawyer. You'll no be, you be no match for me. Uh, do what you want, but don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, I will do what I like, thanks. Like I need a shady punk like you telling me what to do around my alma mater. Bitch. Hey, Paul. I... I got in. What? Really? 
I can't remember what Paul's voice is like. You got in to flight school? That's crazy, David. I can't even do a handstand. You can do whatever you put your mind to. <laughs> Thanks. But it doesn't make me a pilot yet. I still have to pass the exam. Man, dude, you totally will be. And make sure to give me a ride. I'd love to fly around the city sometime. Paul, I'm not going to fly passenger planes. It's not that kind of school. Don't sweat the details. I'm glad for you. You did good. Hey, I'll take you to lunch today. Back then, I wasn't really thinking. I was just doing whatever I wanted. Maybe D is like that too. Okay, well, uh, at least we've made some progress in the story. Again, I apologize. I'm going to probably just have to say this at the end of every episode, but I apologize for the issues with the text. Uh, I'm going to endeavor to find a solution to this until I find a solution or I give up. But there's got to be a way of it, sorting it out somehow. Um, but as I said, I may have to start having a walkthrough on standby because otherwise I am going to miss important details and I'm probably going to miss clues and things like that. So, uh, yeah, I apologize if it annoys some people that I will be reading from a walkthrough, but I want I will try and use a walkthrough just for hints and things like that. So if I really get stuck, then I will look for a hint, look back over what I know I've done, see what I've missed, and see if I've, I've, I have actually missed a clue such as a passcode or something like that. And then if I really get stuck, I really do have, just have to use the walkthrough. That's just the way it is. But, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share. It really helps me out a lot. I salute you all, and I will see you with another video very soon.